Hey there, what's up guys? I am DCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate guide to farm Gilded Spawn Striker in Instant Hunt. Also, the Gilded variants of Coral Blade, Squid Armor, and Harpoon Crossbow. There are more ultimate guides on farming Gilded item. You can check that out at right top here or down there at the description. It can help you to speed up the process of farming Gilded item. Alright, the first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the Ancient Mob that have a chance to drop this guild item. It is the L plus and T rune to summon the Ancient Abyssal Eye. Now you can start to farm the item they assign with this rune. Just farm ray or common item is enough. And there are many items they assign with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. This table contains all the information that you need. I filter everything for you guys. So just follow this table, all these are recommended items to farm. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm. And you can farm any way you like listed in this table. But there is 4 best mission that drops everything you need. It is a shortcut for you. So you don't have to run here, run there, run so many missions to gather all the items that you need. Alright, the first one is farm at end walls. Get backstepper, shocker armor, and hunting bow. Then you can go for 9 point run. Second one, farm at Gale Sanctum, get Tempest Knife, Red Armor, and Wind Bow. Then you can go for 9 point run. Third one, farm at Colossal Rampart, get Tempest Knife, Climbing Gear, and Exploding Crossbow or Wind Bow. Then you can go for 9 point run. Fourth one, also the last one, farm at Lost Settlement, get Cutlass, or Maze, or Seeker, Snow Armor, and Light Feather. Then you can go for 6 point run. Farm another bow, Snow Bow, it also dropped in the mission. Then you can go for 9 point run. Alright, so that's the best for mission. Actually, there are 9 more missions you can actually farm at. But those are not recommended as some of it just can go for 3 point or 6 point only. So I just list down the best for mission to you guys. Just farm repeatedly at any of these missions and get everything you need. Then you can start hunting your gilded gears in no time. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It is free and thank you very much. Alright, so to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. And equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed. Mini weapon with prospectors and chairman, it is not necessary to have this. If you have it, it is a bonus, so you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow, if you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With any of these crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time, and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. It will save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to get rich and farm easy experience, you can check out the link at right top here and down there at the description. It can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best skill you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. If you're having trouble to go 9 maximum point, you can check out my video on AFK farm experience. It is a very simple guide and you can earn a lot of level just by standing. The link is at right up here and down there at the description. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability. And of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple green door to beat the instant abyssal eye. This boss is easy, but his minion enchanted drown necromancer is kinda hard. They got thick skin, deal double damage, summon minion, also lightning strike. So you gotta be very careful, it is better to have potion barrier enchantment on your armor, activate and use everything you have to finish them. Oh wait, mm, after you kill the boss, make sure and don't forget to check out the back of this room. There is some chest is waiting for you, it will reward you with some emerald and gold, so don't miss it okay? And if you still find it hard to kill, you can always one shot instant kill the boss by using Torment Quiver, equipment item taken as soul, a soul bow with dynamo enchantment is good enough. Then make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo, active Torment Quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here's your guild item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time before you exit the instant ha, huh, it will refresh the Pickering Merchant stock. So make sure to equip an armor with Lot of the Sea enchantment if you have higher chance to offer you with Gilded Unique Gears. 
if you see the guild that gives you one, just buy from him, it will save you a lot of time. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm guild spawn striker and other guild gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, you can always leave a comment below. And you can also hit me up at my Discord community, everyone is welcome to join. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. And before you leave, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and it will help me a lot and I am very appreciated. So, happy hunting, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.